guys, it's Jen. Um, uh, where to start? There's two fires going on, one between us and Boise, um, and another one um, a lot closer to us. The Boise one is the Mile Marker 14 fire. If you look up Mile Marker 14 fire, um, or hilltop fire, you can see it. it's still going. We were able to use the road today. We weren't um, for a chunk of yesterday and last night. Um, it's still going. They don't have it contained. Its last count was about 4,500 acres burned. They've managed to save houses. It was kind of crazy as we were driving um, into Boise. We could see um, all this burnt charred everywhere and then you'd go past these houses that were still lush and green and safe because um the the firemen and the hotshot teams had worked so hard to keep the houses from burning it was amazing um but so we had no power from about 8 40 8 45 ish last night um came back on between 1 and 2 p.m today i think but we weren't here we were still in boise um but we went to Costco and Fred Meyer and Walmart to pick up a few things. I didn't get much for the fridge. Everything in my fridge, it got too warm. And it um, it's all spoiled. I checked it this morning and it was just too warm. So I've got to actually clean up my fridge and throw it all out. So that's fun. <laughs> but all right, we bought dog food. We're going to um, be switching Hero to uh, an adult dog food from Puppy Food because he is almost a year old. Picked up some more organic applesauce patches for Apollo. They're his favorites. Picked up a bag of pinto beans, dry pinto beans. I'm going to be transferring those to big glass jars. And I will probably um, take all the air out of them with our food saver. We have the jar attachment. We picked up some of these Greek pitas. I really like to use these for my veggie wraps. Got some more of these little cucumbers. Picked up croissants picked up strawberries. Um, I'd actually made a meal plan and shopping lists and I was going to film it, but our shop, our grocery, it all changed. It was using stuff that I had in my fridge and I don't have that stuff anymore. So I'm going to have to do kind of redo it. Um, bagels for the kids for breakfast for I think two mornings it'll do them. Um, some tortilla chips cause we have salsa and Kurt loves it. Some bread for the kids, four loaves. We picked up some organic plain Cheerios for the kids. Some organic Frosted Flakes for Kurt. And they had this on sale, two for five, which is still expensive, but I'm the only one that eats it. So picked these up. They were on sale also. Hero, he's our outside dog, doesn't really get treats very often. And so I wanted to get some for him. I went out, poor baby, and I don't know if it's from the smoke or what, but the one of his lower eyelids is a little swollen today. He was a total sweetie, though. Usually he jumps all over us, and we went out, and we're getting him water and feeding him this morning and, and checking on him, and he was totally calm and just walked around with us and wanted reassurance, I guess. He could tell something was different. Um, we grabbed some raspberry and some strawberry organic um, fruit spread jam jelly. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I don't actually know the technical difference between the two. <laughs> Some more of these organic natural maple and brown sugar flavored oatmeal packets. They're not fantastic, but they're not awful, I guess. And the kids really like them. Grabbed milk, one of our only, that might be our only item that actually technically goes in the fridge. We put the strawberries and cucumbers in the fridge, but I don't think they have to. They had peaches on sale, and Kurt wants to make um, Dumb Bunny. It's basically like super easy peach cobbler. And our compromise was we're going to make our own um fruit part of it instead of buying a can of like peach pie filling because I couldn't find one that wasn't kind of awful. Um, picked up one of these. It's a yellow plum. I've never had one and it looked yummy. So a couple of nectarines. The kids haven't really had them and they were on sale along with the peaches. These are dark chocolate covered cashews. They're delicious. Kurt actually liked them and he, he's coming around to dark chocolate because <laughs> I like dark chocolate. So he's working on liking it too. Picked these up to um, kind of give Apollo a little bit of variety with his other pouches. He doesn't need a ton. Um, we're working on trying to trying to find a way to keep our food budget 
on task and still be eating healthily and so stuff that I would normally insist on being organic I might not insist like we got him organic applesauce pouches and these ones aren't organic but they were a lot cheaper and they were on sale so we bought these to go with those compromising we are trying these we have not had them before but Costco is out of the regular potato chips that we really like so we're gonna see if we like these I picked up some dry shampoo I don't use it a ton. I got one in a bloom box like two years ago and I literally just ran out of it this morning. I have not showered in like a week and a half, which before you get grossed out for me is really normal. I shower once a week and that's just my pH and my body and everything. It's fine. Like people can't tell I haven't showered, but it is Wednesday and I showered like Saturday before this last. And so I am, my hair just feels kind of heavy and I'd like a shower and I will be getting one today. Um, Here's some snappy crisps. I'll probably hold on to these for nursery at church. We picked up one of these for Kurt. It was $2.50 at Walmart. Um, it's going to go in his 72-hour kit, which I filmed a quick video showing you what I was doing there last night, but I'll probably refilm it today um, because last night Apollo was sitting next to me singing and talking. And you probably can't hear half what I said, so I will refilm, and that's what that's for, and so you'll know what we're doing for those. Uh, we picked up some of these. The kids were hungry. It was lunchtime right after we got in. And so we picked up oranges and bananas and um, some kind of little granola e-bar thingy that they had. And then Kurt and I had Subway because, well, yeah. <laughs> the kids were happy. Um, picked up these. Cheapest place I found them is Walmart. They only had the one case. So we grabbed it. Cantaloupe. Soothers for Apollo. Usually we try to get him, um, we've been getting him the Parents' Choice ones that are kind of like the Nooks because he loses them, but he wants a pink soother so bad. Like, he found a little toy pink soother at a friend's house and we wouldn't let him bring it home and he cried and cried and cried. And so he got a pink soother and he got a fishy soother and he's very happy about it. He just sat there staring and smiling at it in the cart. It was super cute. <laughs> he's decided he likes pink. Um, Gala Apples Organic ones. Uh, best price I found for a bag of organic apples for the kids is Walmart. These travel wipes thingies are for Apollo's 72-hour kit. We got him diapers and wipes, and we picked up pool noodles. He has both of the blue ones in the garage, though, right now. Bananas, they were $0.48, cents, I think, at our Walmart, the one that we went to. And I think that's cheaper than we've been getting them at Fred, so we picked them up. This is for the Dumb Bunny. Um... We looked through the cake mixes and there really wasn't one that was better than this. And I have never made a non dumb bunny cobbler. So we're just going with it. As I said, compromising food storage buckets, goldfish. I know I cringed. I cringed. I did. And I had to like talk myself into being okay with it a little bit. Um, usually I don't do goldfish, at least not this amount, but Apollo doesn't go to bed until Kurt and I do, and after the other kids go to bed, I stay up for a while, and I do work on my computer, and Kurt and I sit and watch shows, and we just kind of chill, and that's just our chill time for a couple of hours. We just hang out and relax, and Apollo does it with us, and he, it's past dinner enough that he's hungry, and he's been going through his pouches like crazy, so we got these, and I'm going to put them in. I have snack size bags, so I'm going to put these in snack size bags, and I'm hoping that will slow down the applesauce consumption. Fingers crossed, guys. Anyway, this is getting really long. I'm sorry. Um, I will let you go. Uh, look for our 72 market video to be up soon. I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.